separation of the administrative user, right? Having a separate user account. So if you have that separate user account, the thing that makes sense is, well, anything that requires that separate user should also be on a separate, you know, management environment, right? Yeah. Um, so if, when you're logged into that identity, use the secure um, workspace. When you're logging into your normal user identity, use your normal workspace. But yeah, where, where to divide that line is an exercise that as a service provider, you need to decide what's sensitive, right? Um, it, if you open up a security book, right? One of the things that they will point you to is um, this concept of a security kernel. Um, it's like a old, old, old language there. So what's inside the security kernel is um, the is things that change. The- like popcorn or kernel like Sanders? <laughs> it's like the, 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 the core, the security core, like security the most trusted core. place in security. Um, what they say is if there's a piece of the system that moderates how the rest of the system enforces security, that's inside the that secure um, kernel um, or enclave. Sometimes people use that word these days. Um, but so if you have tasks that as an administrator you're performing, that when you perform that task, you actually could create security issues, right? Um, if you did them wrong or if someone else like had access to that and could they open mm. up a door for someone else, right? Um, if that's if that's the nature of that administrative work, that should be on an administrative user on an administrative workstation, right? And if you're not changing the way the whole security model works, right? And you're just in your access groups, you're just doing your normal everyday tasks. Maybe that is something you do with your normal user. But uh, I think the the line in the sand is something that everyone needs to figure out. It's all about sensitivity and what you're trying to protect, right?